Hello everyone, it's Rachel. Welcome here for today's video. I am so excited for it. We're doing something a little bit different and I'm going to take you guys along with me as I make a pair of pants for my toddler. About a month or two ago now, I made him a sweatshirt. It was my first sewing project. I actually ended up doing it twice because the first time I made a few mistakes. It was my first one. So I did it again, turned out so much better, and I decided I wanted to make him a pair of matching pants so we could have a matching set. I did a first go at it. Again, there were a few mistakes. One of the main ones, not really being a mistake, but just that it was way too big for him. It's a couple sizes too big, and since he needs pants right now, I decided I was gonna have a go at it again, and this time I would bring you guys along and share the experience with you. So let's jump into this video and make a pair of pants for my toddler. So I've got my patterns here. I've already gone around and drawn out, I think this is a centimeter and a half um, in from pattern I previously used, which was, I believe it was three to four years. Um, but this one was also going to be too big just to bring it in a bit. Hopefully this will fit him a lot better. Um, did that for both of them and then also for the pocket piece. But the pocket piece, I actually brought it up quite a bit because I found it's like it's massive. So I'm just going to shorten it a bit because he won't even really use the pockets at all. So they, they don't need to take up that much space. And then for the bottom... Um, which I have to adjust this one, but for this one, um, I basically marked out where it should be. And then, um, because I'm planning on doing cuffs on these pants, not using, um, this material with elastic, um, I'm going to be using a matching ribbed material and make cuffs to match the sweater I made for him. Um, I just, uh, basically folded it up from that line to where it should sit with the elastic. Um, it's just an estimate <laughs> made a line to where I want it to be in. So then I'm going to have the cuff using up that space, but I found that they don't actually perfectly match. <laughs> so this one is going to need to be a little bit lower. So I'm probably just going to chop it, um, at these notches here and then I'll match it up because that'll be a little bit easier. I already made a bit of a mistake. I forgot to mark out the notches on the pants where the pocket goes before cutting it out. So I had to like find the scraps and measure and put them in and make sure that I line up. And yeah, that, that killed a bit of time on me. I forgot this pin down. I don't have enough double-sided to do the other one. I'm gonna cut this one out and then I'll see if I can fold this fabric, cut that one out and then do the pockets and the cuffs. Finally finished cutting everything out. Cutting always takes so much longer than I expect it would. I've got my pockets, cuffs, front, the back. I made little notches here where the pockets go, but I forgot to do that for this one. So I just made some marks with a water erasable pen. Um, and I did do the triangles in this one too, but <laughs> I didn't cut in between them. So I can see where they are. They're just harder to see then those ones. I really wanted to be able to pull out my sewing machine and get started with this tonight, but it is like 9.20, <laughs> getting a little bit late. So I think I'm going to have to put this aside and hopefully pick it up tomorrow night. Okay, it is the next evening. I'm finally set up and ready to sew. I've got my sewing machine out. It took me way too long <laughs> to figure out what thread I was using. I couldn't find the one I used on the previous pair of pants. So I had to grab another one that matched and rewind the bobbin, re-thread the machine. So yeah, it took a little bit more time than I wanted it to, but we are ready to go. I've got my pieces here and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna be starting out with my pocket pieces, getting those onto the pants and then 
from there we'll piece the pants and the other pockets together. Yeah, but let's start with that. All right, so I finished all four legs. They each have a pocket on them. I've ironed them just to um, help the thread really get into the fabric. And now I have to stitch the pant legs together going around the pocket like this and remembering to leave an opening. So I'm gonna have to come down a little bit, go up a little bit. Um, I have to mark the notches on this side so I can see. So there should be an opening to get his hand through the pocket. So I've finished up with both sides of the pants and now I've got a leg that looks like this with a little pocket in it. I had to redo this one because you could see the pocket bag sticking out. You can like kind of see it now, but it's so minor, I'm just gonna leave it. I also did a, um, a zigzag stitch around the edge. This fabric doesn't fray, so it was just more to clean it up. I could cut off the excess uh, and it just it just looks more clean and neat. So I like doing that after sewing things together. And then I gave it a good iron. And now we're ready to put these two together. It is getting late though, so I'm probably not gonna be able to finish it up tonight, but I think I should at least be able to get these together. <laughs> These are coming together nicely. They're now just one big piece <laughs> all attached together except for the legs. So now I just have to go, um, I'm gonna flip this right side out or actually, no, there we go. Ah, there we go. So this is how they're supposed to be. So now I'm just gonna go and sew this all together just in one go. And then I think we're gonna call it quits for tonight. Pick up tomorrow and finish with the waistband and the cuffs on the legs and then we're done. <laughs> We are back for hopefully the last day finishing up these pants. I only have two things left to do. I have to do the elastic, put the elastic in the waist and do the cuffs on the legs, which the elastic, that was the hardest part for me the first time I did it. I struggled so much. It was such slow going because I could not figure out how to stretch the elastic properly. And yeah, it took until like I was almost done till I figured out how to do it. But now I know what I'm doing, so hopefully it won't go quite as slow this time. And then it's just the cuffs on the bottom and we're done. So for the elastic, I'm just using this that I had left from the first time I did it. I've got just under 18 inches here. And last time I used, I believe it was 20 inches. So this is definitely going to be smaller. Um, and I also have to put it together, which I'm gonna lose a little bit then. So hopefully this should be tight enough that it'll fit him properly. But yeah, I'm so excited to finish this off. So I'm just gonna start by sewing this elastic together and then I'm gonna put it inside the waistband. 
Um, I'm gonna find the front, back, and sides of the elastic, match it up with the seams, and then sew it into place. I just spent almost, I don't know, like half an hour, 45 minutes. I had to rip out all the seams because it did not come together nicely. So I had to redo it. And then when I redid it, a bunch of it got like bunched up in one spot here. So I had to like rip it out and redo it. There's still like, I don't know if you can see, like a minor flaw in it. Hopefully once I go over it again, because I'm going to do a couple more um, rows of stitches just to give it like that gathered look. Hopefully that will cover it, like hide it. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish tonight because it is 9.40 and I'm getting really tired. So I think I'll just finish up um, with the waistband and then stop for today and do the cuffs another time. Right, it is the next morning. I'm attempting doing this while Tobias watches a show. So if you can hear some Paw Patrol in the background, that's what that is. Um, I didn't actually end up finishing with the waistband last night. I was just really tired. I spent way too long. I think it was literally about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour I spent undoing <laughs> what I did. And it's still a little bit uneven um, and I have that little mistake, but I think that once I get the other seams in, you shouldn't be able to tell. So that's what I'm hoping anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So basically you could just leave it like this. Um, see, here's the little mistake I was talking about. It was a lot worse. Basically you could just leave it as is, or you could go through and add two more rows of seams, which is what I'm going to do. I'm um, just to hide some of these imperfections a little bit. And then after that, just got to finish up with these cuffs. Hopefully I can get this all done this morning. That's my plan. All right. So this is how it's looking now. And there's still that little spot, but I don't think there's much I can do about that. And it's looking pretty good. It's not um, yeah, not looking as bad as I thought it was going to. I feel like the extra lines definitely helped, um, hide a little bit of how uneven it was. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was definitely a little bit uneven. So then that spot is looking really good. So now we're going to finish the cuffs. I had just finished with the cuffs when I realized ugh, I did it inside out. So I was supposed to stick this or turn the pants inside out and then stick it inside and sew it. But I forgot to turn them inside out. So they looked like this when they were supposed to look like that. <laughs> so I had to rip it all off. I got one off. I got most of this one ripped off as well. I just have this little bit left. And then I have to redo it again. Oh, I hate seam ripping. It's so much work and just so frustrating when I thought I was done and I'm not. So I'm going to quickly finish this up, re-sew it, and then we'll be done. <laughs> I finally finished. The pants are done. And now that's all left to do is try them on Tobias and see how they look. It's definitely a little bit more challenging with Tobias being awake because he wanted to like 
watch and touch things and but yeah got it done so now we just have to try them on see how they fit I am so happy with how these turned out. It was definitely a lot more work than I expected it would be for my second go at it. I didn't make near as many mistakes the first time and I didn't have to do all that seam ripping, but I'm really happy with the overall look and I definitely learned a lot through the whole process. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and seeing the whole process and learning from my mistakes. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I look forward to sharing more sewing videos with you guys, things I'm making, things I'm learning. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around. See you guys next time.